Hello and welcome to Bell CB. What we're going to do today is we're going to make a couple of power cords for a Yaesu FT-101. I'm going to make them both uh, DC power cords, so I thought I would videotape one of them for you. Uh, if anyone out there wants to tackle it themselves, they're more than welcome to. There's no secret here. What I start with is the Workman KW-2000 power cord. Pretty heavy duty. Here. You get some connectors here for the RCI 2970 and some Kenwood. We won't need those just for this application. And then in their design, the fuses are up next to the radio. And I strongly disagree with that concept. So I pull out that section right here. You can see those are the, are the pins that are on the end for those connectors that we're not using. If I save that little piece right there for future use. And now I can ready these fuses that I think belong at the battery or the source of power with a couple of ring terminals on the end. So I'll strip that back a little bit. I don't want too much hanging out because I'm going to solder it. It has too much hanging out. This, the screw later won't fit really flat. So I can just trim that back a little. And we're going to solder it here in a minute. I'll just hold it on there. Strip that one back. I got nothing against a print connection. But some people do, and I don't want to upset those guys. Just keeps everybody happy. So like I said, now the fuses are at the other end, and I go to this end, but there's a little tin there. Now I need something to use as a strain relief on this wire when it goes into the boot. So what I do is I use a little piece of this. It just happened to be the right size tie on. I was looking for a tie on tube and I didn't have any. Let's get some focus on it. It's just a piece of four gauge power wire. And I just use that little as a sleeve. Clean it out. And stick it on these right angle pliers. Gonna warm it up a little bit. I don't want to tear it. Now I can put that right around my wire.
And that's going to make a nice clamp release, strain relief right on the clamp. You can look in the uh, description right below the video, right down there, and I'll put the part number for these there for you. If you want to run out and buy some, I'll put a link there for you. Pull the pin out of the side, put it over here for later, don't lose that pin. <coughs> and then I put this in the, in the vise. The device kind of tilted today so you can see what I'm doing. There. And then I take this one. These screws here. And I back those up. Put it over your wire right away because you're going to be mad if you're done soldering and you forgot to put that on. Okay, there's a little bit of complicated jumpers that are inside the DC power cord. And remember everybody that the DC power cord does not go on an FT-101 unless the FT-101 has a D to D converter. If you don't have that converter on the back of your 101 and you plug this cord in, you'll damage the radio. Make sure you have that first. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is run my first jumpers here. You can just watch. pin three, and then I'm going to come all the way down to pin 11, and then I'm going to come up from pin 11 and go all the way over to pin one again, and then down and out. So I'll kind of just read that a little bit, how long I want it, cut it. Right through there. This jumper wire I use is the silver plated wire from the inside of a Wilson silver load antenna. When they go bad, I pull that wire out. It makes great jumpers. They solder real easy because they're plated with silver. I just like to come up on top like this because I don't want any of these jumpers hitting pins that aren't supposed to hit, so I'll clear them away from the pins all together right on top. Got all this room inside. Might as well use it. Okay, so my first jumper's mission is to tie together pins 1, 3, and 11. You can do that any way you want. You can jump from here to here to here any way you want. This just works for me. Okay, the next pins are 4, 5, and 10. 4 and 5 is right here. I'm just going to hang that right there. And the way I'm going to hold this one is the side of that first pin 5. Okay, I'm going to 
them up. Again, this time not as high. Let them come close to those guys. And then down to in the town. Okay, so connected four, five, and ten together. I'm going to back up and solder a few things. I laid my soldering iron right there at the nook between the wire and the pin so that you're touching both of them. And when it gets hot enough, you can just go to the other side, apply a little solder, and you're good. Put a little bridge there, a little solder bridge, and then hit the other side. A little solder nice for you. One more jumper to go. It's going to go between pins 9 and 12. Again, I'm just going to throw it in there and leave that sit there until I start the tip. Okay, let me give you a close-up of that. You see there, pin 3 goes down to 11, then back to 1, and then 5 to 4, down to 10, and then over here is 9 and 12. Now all that's left is the positive red wire is going to go to pin 2 and the negative to 9 and 12 down here. So that comes back to these wires. I'm going to short them up a little bit. Those little tips on here are too big. They've been tinned already, but I'm going to put some fresh solder on the tips of there so they solder well for me. I guess I should do that up in the camera here. Okay.
Now my positive is going to go down between these two jumpers here to pin two. So I stick another piece of heat shrink around him. Extra solder on there because I know the wire is going to really soak it up. Slip the peach ring over that. Over here, the pins nine and twelve. And a little extra. I'm gonna put my ground on there. Now that's ready to assemble, but I take it one step further. I don't know what kind of twisting around is going to happen, or who knows what people will do. So, I do some hot glue in there, stick that guy down there like that, stick this guy down here like that. That's going to keep anybody from moving. Those guys aren't going to be able to move around now. Sorry, I keep going out of the frame. Uh, the camera's on a tripod. I don't have a cameraman to adjust for me. All right. That's all nice and used around the pins. I'm going to let it come down a little bit now. Right up to where the... Let it drip down to where the bus bars are. And I slide this one up. And you still see me? I slide this up. Push down on there. Got a little. Got a little hot. Slip that strain relief on. That was for this metal clamp here. They have something to clamp to. Something strong. And that's it. Just tighten those up. Yeah, we have a 
high quality DC power cord better than the one it came with for the Yaesu FT101 series radios. Thanks for watching.